Everybody's talking about fabric paint. This is not paint. It's medium. <laughs> Hello and welcome down to the Creative Customs Laboratory. I am Buddy Cosplay and I'll be your host for this insanity that I call a video tutorial. Today we're going to talk about fabric paint. Here is an example of some paint that I put on a cloth using different mixtures with a red acrylic paint to see how it would fare. So you can look at the different results that we will examine more in depth in this video and you can see which ones would work best for you if you want to create some texture on an undersuit or other type of cloth that you have involved with your cosplay. So here's the results, you'll see that later. And this is the textile medium that I used in the video. So if you need that information, it's there. I'll also link to it down in the description below. So let's go ahead and check out how this worked out. So when you need to add some acrylic paint to your next cosplay undersuit or clothes, you'll know what is best for you. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna test out a bunch of different versions of acrylic paint on a piece of material. This is just an old t-shirt I cut out and I've marked a couple different samples we're gonna do. And we're gonna apply it all, allow it to dry, run it through the washing machine and the dryer and see which one holds up the best. We're gonna first start with just acrylic. Just plain old acrylic paint. Brush right onto some material. And the reason we're gonna test these is I've seen many different people posting online and saying different versions of this work. I've seen people say that just regular old acrylic work and I've not had it hold up too well personally after a wash. So we're going to start with that. And then I saw somewhere, which this made no sense to me, but watered down acrylic. It made zero sense. Ha! Got him! Got him! It made zero sense that if you watered it down it would work better. But for testing purposes, we will put some on. Maybe it's because it's thinner and it'll seep into the material better. Who knows? But just for the sake of experimentation, we are going to add it there. The next thing I saw, which I have not personally tried, is acrylic with alcohol in it. Just regular old fashioned isopropyl rubbing alcohol, not Jim Beam, anything crazy like that. I'm not sure what property the alcohol would give it to make it stay better. Maybe the fact that it evaporates quickly. That could potentially be something. And next we have what we're supposed to use, which is a textile medium, which is basically makes things permanent on most fabrics. And I've got that already mixed up here with some acrylic. And as you can see, since it actually says it's clear, it comes in a white form, so it actually lightens this up a little bit compared to that. But um, that's just something I guess you'd have to keep in mind while you're mixing these up. And once it's on here, it doesn't really look like it's really that different. So it may not turn out to be an issue in the end. Now this, this is all a test for brush on types of paint. But since we've got this out, I figured I'd go ahead and hit two kinds with an airbrush. Plain, airbrushed, uh, thin down. I can't say it's plain because you have to make it thin enough to be the consistency to go through your air gun. I'm just gonna thin it with water. And then I'm gonna thin down a version of the textile medium version of it. And I'm just gonna go over to my airbrush and do that and come right back. And there we have it. Regular acrylic, watered down acrylic, alcohol and acrylic, acrylic and the fabric medium, watered down acrylic through the airbrush, watered down acrylic with the medium through the airbrush. We'll give these time to dry, wash them, dry them, and we'll see the results. All right, we are back with the results of our acrylic paint on regular cotton material. Here are the results. The acrylic by itself 
remain pretty good as far as color goes. The watered down version, pretty good as well. The acrylic with the alcohol stayed on pretty well as well, as well as the acrylic with the medium. I'm actually a little bit surprised that the acrylic with the medium in it has some lighter spots in it. That does, that does surprise me. And our two airbrush have lightened up, but that's kind of what you expect with such a light misty layer. Airbrushing is really good for creating depth and shadow and shades and things like that. But to have good hard lines airbrushing isn't really that great uh, unless you're really getting down close with the airbrush. I did general far away sweeping motions. So if you were to focus your paint with your airbrush closer, you may get a better turnout than this. But there's something more to this, and that is the texture of these. This acrylic by itself is very crunchy feeling. I mean, if I pick it up, you, you can see how much resistance is there because this is very thick. You can hear it. Very thick, very uh, crunchy. It's not very, you know, bendable. If you were to wear this, it would probably be a little scratchy and uncomfortable. So this is why acrylic by itself is not always the best choice because it gets that th firm thickness to it that really can make your, your wearing of a cosplay under armor or under suit a little more uncomfortable. Now the watered down version, it lightened up some, but it's a whole lot more flexible than this version. A whole lot more. So if you were to use watered down acrylic, you would get a better result as far as how it feels against your skin or its flexibility. But it will be slightly lighter than the straight up acrylic. The alcohol one, it actually probably is the most vibrant of the colors of these three and has the most flexibility of the three as well. It does, you can see how it bunches up in certain areas. That does show there's a little bit of thickness to it. You can really feel it, but it's not near as much as the acrylic by itself. And it's probably slightly thicker than the watered down version. So if these were the only three choices you had, you just had acrylic paint and you had to choose between using straight acrylic, watering it down, or using alcohol, I would say go with the watered down version. It's the most flexible, it stayed on pretty well, um, and it would probably work for you. The next step I would say, or the next choice would be the alcohol and acrylic. That is not as stiff as the ordinary, but stiffer than this. But the color is much more vibrant. Acrylic by itself, very thick, third choice. I probably wouldn't do this at all because, I mean, just rub my fingers along it. I can feel the thickness of it. And the last one is the medium and the acrylic. This has no thickness at all. It is very, very flexible. It is the most flexible of these four options. It has lost a slight bit of the color, some lighter areas here. But other than that, it is the most pliable, probably the most comfortable, and it is supposed to be the most fabric, um, well, color retaining of, of all of them. I've only washed this once, but the, um, the results are pretty good here as far as flexibility and color retention. So there you go as far as those four options go. Again, you also have the airbrush versions if you want, but they have lightened up pretty drastically. But it goes to show that you can make some pretty good fabric paint with just a little bit of fabric medium and some acrylic, and it'll be flexible, it'll keep, retain most of the color, and it should work great for your undersuits and whatever else you want to paint that needs to be flexible on cloth. And it'll save you some money in the long run. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed this test and uh, stay crafty. Fabric paint. Everybody's talking about it.